Yeah, Ray, congratulations. You almost arrested your brother, too. Too bad he got some type of deal to turn on somebody to excuse his crime. They still ain't told no Jennifer or JJ that Abigail in the hospital. It is no Dario gone. Ooh, Dario, you better stay hidden. Cause when JJ find you, he gonna beat the living shit out of you for that car story that you let um Abigail get hit with. You knew that car was for your ass. Now why didn't you get in your Uber and go where the hell you was going in? Ooh, well, okay, I ain't got to say it. Thank you. Thank you. She's not a very smart thinker. She was a very hard thinker, I like to say. Gabby, shut your insecure ass mouth up, would you? I'm not sick of your little ass now. Jesus Christ, I try to ignore you when you be going to your little insecurities, but you make me say something, and I can't ignore it because you be on my screen. So, girl, shut your damn mouth. Okay, JJ, you just find out the news, and now you out here that your sister is about to die. Well, she's in flatland already, and they're trying to bring her back, and now you got to hear all this plus that. JJ, please hurt him. Close one of his eyes for us, please. You can kill him. We won't miss him. Do that. Get Beat the drug dealer to kick in that ass. That's what you do, JJ. Because JJ fit to go after him head strong, and I'm kind of here for it. And if that ain't love, I don't know what the fuck is. That made Chad love Abby even more, knowing she ought to take a car from him. Go on ahead, Chad. I knew y'all won't get together anyway, so it's Gabby. She is out of fucking control. Love her dearly, but she is out of control. Her hurricane needs to stop now. Okay, I'm kind of here for this. Well, I'm not really here for that. I ain't going to be petty today. I'm going to keep the petty to a minimum. I'm going to try to. At least I see Kate got this covered for me. Kate, stop bashing that woman. That woman in the hospital. Grow up, Kate. Abby, I mean, Gabby. Y'all need to stop bashing on that girl. Now, she in the hospital. I know you two hoes don't know it. But y'all need to have some consideration. Both of y'all nasty up here talking. Well, Kate, you nasty. Abigail, I mean, Gabby just agreeing to it because she ain't got no damn choice. Kate, they're not going to make it, sweetie. You can give it up. You can tie it up. You can throw it away and put it in the mailbox. They ain't going to be together forever. Abigail best of the truth to her love the Chad by getting hit by that damn car and saving his life. So, if you think Chad and Gabby gonna last, your blue hair and your hair, you got blue, that blue squeak in your hair must have infected your damn brain. See, sometimes the story be moving so so, so damn fast that we it's, we did, we just, we are tend to forget shit that happened and some people know and some people don't. Chad all in the dark about Abigail and Dario married. So now, um, JJ and Jennifer, Gabby, Ray, Hope, everybody know this except Chad. So Chad and something, she said, why would she go with him? Their marriage ain't need much. And Chad said, their marriage ain't what? What the hell are you talking about? I'm in the dark. You be forgetting so much stuff that happened when it be special, when it be good, that you forget the good shit. Chad is in the dark about that damn photo of him calling himself killing Desmond. He in the dark about Gabby, um, Abigail and Dario marriage. And Gabby K. Gabby K. The rest of them still in the dark about Abigail being in the hospital. It's a lot of people in the dark on days. Now, Roman, for once, we agree with each other. Yeah, um, Nicole shouldn't have judged on every so harshly. And she don't have the cleanest past of the history. But, yeah, that I'm glad somebody said it that she was a lot harsh and a lot rude calling herself judging you because you made one mistake and happened to ruin somebody else's life and kill a person. Yeah, you right there, Roman. But I come down with the name calling and all that because... That ain't nice. Good luck with that range. Time I said y'all got the son, son of a bitch. Not everybody slippy. 
slippery and not everybody fuck up and leave stuff that you can find them. Unlike y'all slow say them, slow say them PD. They are tip over your pay grade. So good luck trying to find these criminals. If they draw a deal of that mean they smarter than you already in the game. Good luck PD trying to catch some drug dealers. Look like some criminal drug dealers. Some high quad. Mm -hmm. Good luck Salem. Not the reaction I was looking for, especially out of you, JJ. So, you want to blame Chad? Huh? I understand you hurt. I understand you angry. I understand you want to cut somebody out. What makes you think Chad to hit the mother of his car? You must ain't got enough sleep or something, or you just want to argue with somebody and not want to punch somebody. You need to be going talking to Dario, not Chad. Dario the one that made that one girl get hit by a car. Not Chad. That is not Chad M.O. Chad and not um Stefano. So how you going to put him and Stefano in? That's what they do in it. I... I JJ, maybe you'll get together and point your finger at the right person. Because right now, you got your finger doing like this, and I want you to stop on Dario. So, you mean to tell me I had to sit through, what, possibly three, four scenes of Abigail and Kate, and basically, at the end of this conversation, we got Kate pumping that Gabby head up, telling her to go to Chad, go to Chad, telling you, look, Kate. You really fit the fuck up her world. Now you go to that. You you go. She go do that bullshit. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why you giving advice to be quite honest, hon. You ain't had the quite nicest relationship now for evil. So how you going to tell the next person what to do with their relationship? But hell for your relationship all been bad to you. They either talk shit to you. Either treated you like shit. Or... To tell like they didn't know you, but yet you telling Gabby, Gabby, go get advice from a third party. That second party you just got that advice from, I wouldn't take it. I will run the other direction with it. I wrap through the net. I'm sorry, Gabby. You take that advice and listen to case you want to. You are the one going to get hurt. Get Abigail ain't going to get hurt. You going to get hurt. I advise you not to pay that no attention and keep it moving. And pretend like she just ain't tell you what to do. And you feel to go like a dummy, aren't you? And go tell Chad that you look. Good luck. Lord, Nicole done lost her baby, and she done turned into a hot mess of a puddle, haven't she? I'm ignoring them for a reason, because I ain't got time for her and Eric and her, and I ain't got time for the Eric talk, I ain't got time for the Holly talk, and I damn sure ain't got time to hear about Daniel. This is why I'm fast forwarding the hell out of her. Y'all wonder why y'all don't hear me talking about um, um, Nicole and the Megan in conversation. They mentioned Daniel, though I heard up and fast for so fucking fast, I almost missed a good part fucking around with Nicole and, um, and Maggie. Mm -mm. Once they said Daniel, I ain't got no fucks for you. I ain't been entertaining them no more. The why, Therese, you want to know the why? Because your brother is a knuckleheaded idiot. That's why. And he think he can handle shit on his own. Clearly, he cannot. You see how shit go when he call himself, handles it, right? You ain't going to never get the step of, well, Dara ain't going to never get the step of the approval. I need help. Help me, brother. Help me. No, it's always be too late. Every damn time. Like the last time he came into town, when they he was playing as another character, he got in trouble then, was running for somebody. What he did, ran out of town. Like the coward he is. Dara ain't going to never go to nobody for no help. Because some parent, apparently he thinks he's the big boy. He can handle his own damn problem. I don't know who told him that lie, but okay. Yeah, your brother gonna always run from his trouble, and don't expect him to come calling you talking about some help me, help me, please help me, cause that ain't gonna happen, Dr. Rafe, you ought to know by now. So I heard a little snippet, so I guess I'll entertain it, I guess. So Roman concerned about Eric having feelings for Nicole, which could possibly happen, and mm, I ain't gonna say never. Superman, I don't see you being happy with Nicole. You might be happy with her now, but I ain't no telling what they might do. And hell, this won't be the first time your brother that betrayed you with a woman. Hell, you see she made a porno. Well, you seen Krista made a porno out of Eric. So, 
I'm going to leave that one alone. That, that one was fucked up, and I don't know why the hell I bring that one up. I, do I think Nicole and Eric going to have a thing? Possibly, maybe. Do I think Nicole going to hurt Eric? Hell the fuck yeah. And probably going to get him back to drinking. Mm. Will they work out? I guess only time will tell that they're going to play on each other's feelings. But Roman, though, you is kind of being annoying right now, telling that man what he can and can't do. And at the time about if he don't, if it don't work out, he going to be drinking. It's just a whole fucked up situation, if you ask me. Okay, I feel sorry for you. You got to be put in the middle of this all over again. That's the mother of his child, the woman he still got finished for. And here you go trying to console him. That's going to be one pain in the ass for you. Nicole, don't you be stupid enough to tell Eric, well, I mean, Brady, what you and Maggie talked about. Don't play that fool now, I mean, you girl. Nicole, don't you play that fool and tell him what they... Some of y'all don't understand what the fuck this means. They ain't supposed to know everything. Shit, let them be a secret shit. Let them be a secret here and there. Well, not here and there. Well, at least let this be a secret. You know, Brady got a high insecurity levels. Do you really want him to go boxing Eric around like a punching bag? Nicole, shut up and don't tell him what you and Maggie discussed. Well, he heard part of it, I think. You know, don't tell him all the fully details. Keep it to yourself, Nicole. Yeah, right. Nicole keeps setting her step. I'm just playing with myself. Anyway, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye. See y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.